Hello, Fear the Cat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play um, Final Fantasy VIII. Might as well do that for her. I've had a bit of an explore, and there doesn't appear to be anywhere we can actually get to from here because of all of the pretty much impenetrable cliffs. So I'm going to see if I can get anywhere useful from somewhere else. That's not too helpful. Let's see where all of these go. Okay, well this is not that helpful because that little red light on there is the Ragnarok, which will be useful right now, and there's also a, a small island with a yellow dot at the top. Getting to there would also be quite useful because that would let us get a Jocobo, which can uh, fly across the seas, but unfortunately I can't find a way to get to that. Let's just uh, let's just go to one of these towns, assuming that they're open, as it were, and uh, see, see if I can at least get some useful items. Alright, oh, I'm practically on top of the Deepling City here. Which I can't get into. You know what? Let's uh, hope that I've got enough items. Let's just head back. I just want to try something quickly. Aha! Ah, yes, actually I made a mistake, I think we might be able to get the uh, chocobos, or a chocobo. Okay, this might mean it's too late for us to um, do the Chocobo side quest, which uh, starts off with you uh, trying to find the mother Chocobo. Uh, I can use the Chocobo now, so I should be able to find what you're looking for. Water. Aha! Oh, um, it can also sink. Um, it can also sink. Ah! Uh, okay. I guess I go find Rain the Rock. Coast is probably best to stick to the coast. This is going to take a while. This is places that you can't get to. But yeah, if you keep on pressing B whilst, uh, whilst you're on the coast, you can. Um, there are certain areas you can go along. Where the water's shallow and it can uh, it can 
one rather comically in the places where the water's shallow. I don't think you actually have to press the button, I think. Stop yourself from sinking, you just need to uh, keep moving. Now, unfortunately, I rather suspect that anywhere we could go to that has uh, items for sale will be blocked off to us, but I might as well have a look. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, it looks like everywhere we could go to that um, sells items is locked off unfortunately but I can go and get some attacks from the island closest to hell and um, I will see you in a minute once I've done that. Hello for the meerkat. Um, um. So uh, the we can't get to the one of these that's on the beach near where we found the chocobo, but we can get to this one. And there is nowhere else to go now except to Ultimacy's castle. So I'm gonna do that. Now, I'm not sure where exactly the save points are other than this one here and I don't know how many bosses we're going to have to fight before we can come back here. So, uh, the episode's just going to go on for as long as it goes on for. I'm hoping that after we fought the first, uh, after we fought each creature, we eats boss, we have a chance to come back here. suits me fine. Um, it doesn't seem from the strategy guide. Uh, I've never actually gotten this far before. I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous episode or not, but actually I never managed to finish this tree. So for quite a while here I've just been relying on the strategy guide and not my own memory. But it doesn't look like you need um, to give them a lot of magic. I'm probably going to give them each a GF. But that's fine for the parties. My main party can do most of the work here. Oh, okay, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to that save point in a minute. Okay, well, we'll be getting those back soon. 
so don't worry too much. It's party two. Now, if I'm going to take these GFs off, uh, it's useful to note that you're going to need your mind party to have elemental defense, so don't take off anything that would uh, get rid of elemental defense. And here we go with our first boss. Um, so there isn't much we can really do here since everything's locked up. Fortunately, this thing, weird though it might seem, is not that uh, that hard to beat. It's about 10,000 uh, hit points. My opponents did more, but you know, that's nice. Ten thousand hit points, this might uh, take a while. I suppose at this point it partly depends on um, how much health you have. Fortunately, I've still got hates King Jones and um, I've, I've still got Q, I think, uh, uh, HP. I still have quite a lot of uh, Q, I left, so. So I think I would get some more items, but everywhere I could get them was sealed off, so... I suppose in a way it doesn't matter that much that I don't have any potions for healing left for healing my GF. Because my GFs, because we can't um, use GFs at this point anyway. Seems to have stopped the uh, countdown on the scroll, at least. And 
Unfortunately, I don't think they're always easy to defeat as that. Now, I'm not sure whether the stats for magic um, still work or not if they don't have magic. And magic is going to be helpful for our next boss, so I'm gonna take that, I think. a set order that it's quite useful to do these things in. And it's going to be useful to have a uh, blizzard on um, our mantra attack because we are going to be uh, using fire and ice against this upcoming boss. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.